We're gonna go over how you can become a great coach and we're gonna start right now. Okay, so this is a third part of a full blown lecture series. So we had the first part where we went over strength training for athletes and all the different factors that you have to think about. The different areas here, the sport, the open skill, the questions that you need, what type of athlete are we dealing with? Energy systems, right? And then that took us into, you know, what type of realm do we need to think about? What do these areas impact over here with these nine key factors behind actual strength training and sports development and sports performance overall? And then in that second lecture, we went specifically into the development of our five-star running back, the Gatorade Player of the Year in 2021, Nicholas Singleton, the number one recruit in all of football in the high school level, and how we took him from you know fifth, sixth grade all the way up to his senior year as he heads off to Penn State as one of the freakiest talents in the history of Pennsylvania. And so now that big question that I had was, okay, I had that first dive into strength training for athletes, and then that basically sparked me to go over what we did with Nicholas. And now that third key aspect is, how can you use this to become a great coach? And this is the system that we've used here at Garage Strength to develop multiple Olympians. So six, so I think we're at six Olympians. We had five this past year in Tokyo. I was there in Tokyo myself as a coach. And then also what we've used here to have dozens upon dozens upon dozens of all Americans. I think we're closing in on over a hundred state champions and just absurd amounts of all state players. You know, this past year in Pennsylvania, we had 12 all state football players, which is just phenomenal. But it all goes back to using this system here along with these nine key factors and then essentially creating some type of access or some point of access for you to learn from so that now everybody out there can watch these videos and take notes and understand how to think about strength and conditioning from that big picture, that top down perspective. And ultimately, we have to remember what is the point of coaching, right? Why do we want to coach? Yes, there might be some, a little bit of egotistical factors behind why we coach. But in all reality, the reason why we partake in sports, if we are an athlete or a coach, is so that we can have this crazy emotional adventure. Okay, that's literally what people like. It's fun, it's complicated. There's a lot of things going on. You have to get better, you have to face your fears, you have to face your own conscious self and improve it through overcoming various obstacles. And that leads to this great experience, these great life lessons. And I put here, a lot of cool stuff happens when you coach well, when you are a great athlete, when you partake in this system of training. And that brings us to that next key aspect, which is having this access and how we've used this system here to educate other coaches so that they then have their ability to reach out even further. And that's where we're gonna dive deep into two of the key coaches that have taken this system, implemented that system in their own scenarios and how they've reaped the rewards and the success through that transformation of becoming a better coach. Okay, so now we're gonna go into two specific coaches. We got good case studies here. Trevor Stutzman, he trained actually under our system and was a key part of me developing as a coach. Was a division three All-American in shot put and then went on to coach at Toledo before coming back from coaching at Toledo. And when he came back from coaching the, the throws at Toledo, he was pretty much a blank slate as a coach, okay? And so he comes back and by this point, I want to say it was, you know, four or five years of he and I working together as a coach and an athlete and going through that, that crazy journey. And now it was like, all right, how can I get a coach who has basically zero experience to come into our training system here at Garage Strength and actually use that and develop him over time? And that's where with Trevor, the big key factor was he came in to the point where we didn't really have any high school throwers remaining, okay? We had all these high school throwers that had graduated just after Trevor, but then as he came back in, we had a lot of young talent, but I wanted to spend more time with the professional post-collegiate throwers, and Trevor was deciding like, you know what? I'll come in, I'll take over the high school level and rebuild this, okay? And so over time, he took control of his leadership and started to understand how to relate to athletes differently, how to understand their type and how to understand programming and what type of technical coordination specific types of athletes need. And then really just diving deep into these nine key areas 
to help improve himself. So over the last three years, Trevor has had athletes, and you can look these athletes up, Maria Diaves, who was the best shot putter, female shot putter in the entire country. Jeff Klein, best male shot putter in the entire country. He contributed tremendously to helping to develop Peyton Montana, who was a, a high school national champion. Keely Suzinski, another high school runner up, and Ashlyn Giles, who was a high school national champion. And so through developing this, and through developing himself as a coach, he was now able to see, okay, how can I take my leadership and understand programming better and then see the transfer of training with technical coordination and see where absolute strength and plyometrics come into play and then how we can really group that together. He was able to see those results all come to fruition, even to the point now where there's even more. And this year, we're likely going to have Trinity Franklin and, and Emma Callahan, who are another really, really great throwers because of the ability to develop them over time. And that doesn't even bring into light the football players, Javen Williams, who's you know another freak of nature that Trevor has developed. And because of that, we have been able to reach more people here at Garage Strength. That takes us to that next case study, which is gonna be Dan Maroney. Okay, so Dan actually worked under me, you know, 2011 to 2013, and then he left, he went back to Massachusetts and he opened the dojo. Okay, and so as Dan has developed over time, he's taken these nine different principles and you can go check out who Dan Maroney is and understand how he's led to the development of guys that can clean and jerk over 400 pounds, women who can snatch 103 kilos and be one of the top two athletes in the United States to even having an athlete now who's on the USA men's seven rugby team. So he's one of the best rugby players in the sevens in the entire world. The U.S. is ranked in the top five. Okay, so all of that comes back to Dan understanding, you know, bucketing that specific type of athlete, testing them over and over again, recognizing those specific means of a dynamic programming setup. So having that parabolic programming setup so that you can then pull and play with different pieces of programming, understanding the importance of technical coordination and how that can be laid out inside an actual training setup and then using absolute strength plyometrics dynamic trunk control and implementing the right amount of speed-based training when it's needed and then incorporating positive nutritional habits to help develop this entire system and that's where it's a key factor here is that when you start to understand the roles that are going along here and what you can do as a coach, now you can understand I can reach more athletes. I can have crazy athlete coach relationship journeys where we can experience cool stuff. We can go places. We can accomplish cool things. We can have tons of awesome experiences and grow based off of the work that we've done. So that takes us into that main portion here. If we're struggling to piece all these things together, you know, you, you see these nine areas here, and if you watch the first lecture, you watch the second lecture, you saw how we developed Nicholas, uh, you saw how we use that blueprint of those 11 key factors to lay out sort of those votes into those different areas to develop that full training system but it's still cloudy, right? It's still a little confusing. There's a lot of different moving pieces going on and you still don't have a full comprehension of developing that system. That's exactly why we put together the Sports Performance Bible. So the Sports Performance Bible is taking everything that we've done over the last 10, 11, 12 years, taking everything out of my massive bald brain and putting it into a book and nine different lecture videos that are 30 minutes long plus nine more applied videos where we apply each and every topic like leadership, like athlete typing, like programming, and we go directly into every single thing in an application series. So we've done that in a video series as well inside of our book. And we're gonna offer this for $149 for just the video course and another 49 bucks for this book. But for the first seven days, you can get both the book and the video course for 99 bucks. And that's where we go into all of these in-depth lectures, all these in-depth series of application, and you can have this as a companion to the entire course, and you can look through the book, think about more questions, find the answers inside the book, watch some more of the video series, and if you still have questions, you can send us emails and ask us more questions where we will respond in our coach's corner. So pick this up today. It's a sports performance Bible. It's something that we've put together 
thinking entirely about what you guys can do and how we can open up access to all these different thoughts. It's not just about our YouTube series, it's also about providing more and more information for you guys as coaches and as athletes to learn more so that you can succeed on that athlete journey. And always remember to cultivate your power. Peace.